Hello guys, how's it going? Uh, this is the fifth tutorial on the Simpsons house. In this tutorial, I'm going to add the garage and put materials on the house. So let's begin. Uh, first, I'm going to scale this uh, on the Z axis because I think it needs to be a little bit taller to look better. Uh, so first, let's uh, move the gizmo to the middle so let's go here into object and uh, set origin to geometry and uh, let's scale it on Z SZ okay let's bring it up actually let's go into side view with three on the keypad and uh, let's bring it up I think that's a little better I don't want to go too high yeah, that's okay. Let's go into edit mode and select this face and shift S. Press it selected. Shift A and let's add a cube. Let's bring the cube out. And uh, let's just drag it down. And let's press L. And then P and selection and tab and just click on it and then S X okay uh, let's go into front view to see if it's even press tab and select this face go in front view again and bring it out Let's select this face. Let's go into side view and uh, bring it out. Okay, I'm gonna bring this face just a little bit down and then select this face. Press one and bring it out here. Let's press tab and go into object mode. Let's go up here, object, set origin origin to geometry and let's uh, press 3 and bring it out so it's even with the building behind it okay so let's put a loop control R left click right click and press 2 on the keyboard and let's uh, select this line and bring it up let's select these two lines shift select them and bring them down okay so let's press three on the keyboard and uh, let's select these two faces and i'm gonna press e and then s okay and uh, then i'm gonna press e again And then I'm gonna press uh, E again and then S and then E again and that's the roof let's go <clears throat> let's go back into object mode with tab and let's bring this out let's go back into edit mode and I'm going to select all these faces in the back And then press three on the keypad and bring them out. Bring them in. I mean, and then I'm gonna select only these faces on top and go in the side view again and bring them in as well. Then press tab to go into object mode and uh, bring the garage back here. Okay, so we got the garage. I think it's hitting our windows. So what I'll do, I'll go into edit mode. I'm gonna press two and select these two lines. And I'm going to press X and dissolve edges. Then press three and select this face on the bottom. And bring it up just a little bit. 
and that should be an up then press tab and let's press one on the keypad and bring the whole thing down yeah that's okay so let's make the garage door let's uh, press one on the keypad then shift a cube blocker and let's add a cube right here the cube should uh, be uh, all the way to the bottom or further okay so let's make sure it's even uh, on both sides or somewhere in the middle let's bring it in just a little bit uh, let's select the garage and let's go up here and add a modifier boolean and then select the cube with this uh, eyedropper and then let's just apply it select the cube again delete it let's press tab and go into edit mode and three on the keyboard and select this face okay so let's subdivide this uh, right click and then subdivide it and let's uh, press 2 to select the uh, edges so let's select this uh, line in the middle with shift select then press x and dissolve edges then let's select this and control b to bevel and just drag your mouse and uh, i think we only need two lines So let's press 2 and uh, select these two lines and let's press uh, Control b again and bevel them just a little bit just like that and now let's press 3 and you have the faces selected press e and let's extrude them inside but just a little bit as you see okay so we have the garage done I think it's time to add some materials to the house let's go into object mode and let's press A and control J so now the whole thing is uh, one object so let's go here in materials press tab to go back into edit mode let's press L with your mouse over the house and select the house and let's press uh, L on, on the, the addition as well and on the chimney okay so let's add a, a material this is the base material that's gonna be so let's uh, get something close to this um, purple pinkish color uh, just to sign it we need to go into material preview let's go straight into rendering I'm gonna choose a uh, cycles okay so the scene is too dark so I'm gonna add a couple of lights so shift A and let's add a light uh, area let's drag it up and out here let's press 1 to have a front view and let's press R to rotate it towards the house just like that on an angle and then S to scale it and just drag it until it becomes big you're gonna have to drag it quite a bit just like that okay so with the light selected go over here in the light uh, section and let's change the color of the light to just a little bit of a yellow orange type uh, color in there I'm gonna put a hundred thousand
Okay, let's press 1 again. With the light selected, press Shift D. And then right click and bring it out here on the other side. And then press R and rotate it in the direction of the house. Okay, so we can see a little bit. Then um, let's add another light, a sun. Uh, Shift A. And let's add a light and then a sun. And let's bring it up. Let's bring it out in front of the house and change its direction towards the house. And uh, with the sun selected, go here in the same spot and change the color. And the strength go to Okay, I'm going to go to maybe 5. I'm going to take it down gradually. Okay, that, that looks okay. Okay, so let's go here into the world properties and let's change the background color let's put a blue let's bring it up all right so let's begin with the windows let's go back into the material properties select the house and um, let's go into edit mode Now let's select the windows. All right, let's um, add a new material, plus sign, and then new. Let's just call this glass. push enter and then the base color go here and uh, choose a blue of your choice and let's take the specular up roughness down and the shin may be up as well okay let's uh, assign it then double a so we have the windows done. Let's select the windows on the bottom. Let's add the glass to that as well. And uh, remember the visor right there. Assign the glass. Double A to exit the selection. Now you ask yourself how we're gonna do all these edges. Well, it's pretty simple. Um, maybe we should have done it first, but uh, Let's do it this way. Let's just do this window first and then we can do the other one. So control plus on the keypad and that's it. Now press shift and unselect the windows.
and as you see the roof is the same color as the frame of the windows and the frame of the door so let's select the plus sign here and a, uh, a new material and let's name it um, let's just name it uh, brown I guess for all the brown on on the house so let's uh, choose a brown right there and assign it then double A and you have a brown okay let's do the this other window so let's select all the windows and then control plus on the keypad and again until it's the whole frame is selected and then uh, go unselect all the windows and then choose brown and assign it double A this top part is uh, brown as well so let's just press C and select all these faces I'm gonna shift select these little triangles on the bottom I'm gonna do the same thing for the other window Now let's go to brown and assign it double A the garage door is some kind of a uh, yellow so let's make a new one I say garage door and choose some kind of yellow that orange type I think that's close enough so let's see we got some areas here that we can't get to very easily so I'm just gonna press C then right click and then turn it down and then press C again make sure everything is selected okay I'm gonna choose that yellow and assign it and press double A so I think that yellow is not even close so I'm gonna change it see that's the beauty because you can change the material after you put it on so I think it's going more towards an orange yeah that's closer right there so let's see how it looks rendered yeah, that's a little better I'm just gonna keep it in the render mode so we can see better the shadows and everything let's maybe change the house material towards something like that I think that's a pastel type of a color all right so let's choose the uh, the door Okay, the door basically is stuck inside uh, that's because when I resized the house it got stuck in there and then uh, bring it out all the way so let's uh, just uh, hold the mouse right here and press L and let's bring it out right there and uh, I'm just maybe gonna leave it like this but if you want I guess you can select this top faces and bring them in a little bit so let's select this uh, face with three and then select and uh, let's make a new material I 
and then name it door and let's assign it and uh, let's change it to a pink type of color press double a so you can see better I think that's too pink yeah, right there and the uh, door frame what I'll do I'll just select the door and then control plus and then hold shift and unselect the door and go to brown and assign it then double A to deselect everything also this object right here let's press L and select it and assign a brown as well and the knob L and assign the brown too Let's see how it looks I think the visor itself should have a some kind of a maybe gray or something so let's add a gray let's name it visor let's go back into edit mode and make sure is everything is deselected with double a and then press l select the visor and shift select the glass and then uh, go to the visor material and apply it and then press up tap double a and then tab if you want to see it in the object mode let's do the same with the top windows let's select the windows let's go back into edit mode and select the windows and then press control plus let's see if we selected everything yep now hold shift and deselect the windows and apply this brown double tap a and let's see how it looks okay let's do this uh, same thing with these windows so select all these four windows and then control plus twice and then shift deselect this windows the glass I should say and then go to brown and assign it double tap a okay so let's assign the roof now let's select these two faces and then control plus and let's uh, go all the way underneath and let's assign the brown double tap a and the roof is assigned I think that brown is not correct though let's go back into render preview and press tab I guess it's close enough but let's take the roughness all the way up and the specular down that's better now let's modify a little bit let's take it up and yeah that's closer okay so let's go back and render preview let's do the same thing for these two roofs so I'll go back into edit mode and control plus a few times until you reach the bottom underneath let's choose the brown and assign it and one last time for this roof and choose the brown and assign it double tap a and I think we got the chimney left and the antenna so we're gonna have to do a materials for the the bricks which is gonna be uh, kind of a orangey type of pink type of color okay so now we have to do antenna antenna is made out of several different pieces so 
we're gonna have to do it one by one let's have it in the middle of the view now let's go L on each one of them Uh, let's assign this brick color. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's assign this visor color Okay, double tap a And since we forgot to make this window, let's uh, let's do it now this window right here on top Let's press 1 on the keypad and let's go into object mode shift a cube blocker cube uh, let's go right here hold shift down I'm just gonna leave it like that and scale it put s let me bring it in just a little bit okay I'm gonna select the whole house and I had a boolean then select the cube, apply it, select the cube and delete it. Then go back into edit mode. And select this face. I'm going to press ES. And then I'm going to right click and subdivide it. And then I'm going to press uh, Alt E. Extrude individual faces and then S. Then I'm going to press Control Plus and select the whole window and then hold Shift and deselect the the glass. And then press E and extrude it outside just a little bit. Since I have the window selected, I'm going to press Control Plus. And it's going to add the inside of the window as well. And I'm going to assign here the material, uh, which be the brown. And then select the windows and assign the blue double tap a and we have that window made All right, let's put that gray here on top of the chimney so it makes it look like well, we can take it off we can delete it if you want and it'll be something like that okay so I think the house is done. Basically, um, yeah, the house is done. We got the materials on it, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like or unlike, and take care. Bye.